Well, Samantha, you had a great exam today. You're still in remission with no symptoms of your IBD for months now. How do you feel? Great, actually, doctor. But I'm a little worried about this good streak continuing when I have to make the switch from my biologic drug to a bio... Biosimilar? That's it. Well, you always said when it comes to your health... Be your own advocate. So, you have a list of questions for me? <laughs> do I? Did I mention I get paid by the question? <laughs> Just kidding. Fire away. Okay. You can probably guess my first question. What, what is, is a biosimilar? biosimilar? Yes. Lucky guess. Well, most medications we take are small molecules that are built step by step to become tablets or capsules. These have original reference versions and also what we call generics that copy the original step by step recipe at a more affordable cost to the consumer. Biologic drugs are different. They're much more complex molecules because they're made from living organisms. They can't be copied, but we can still benefit from more affordable versions called biosimilars. Wait a minute. So they're not the same, but highly similar? Exactly. Here, take a look at these two apples from my lunch. As you can see, they're not exactly the same, but very similar. And I know when I bite into this one... Mmm. 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 Or this one, mmm, mmm, they're both equally delicious, mmm, mmm. Likewise, patients experience the same therapeutic benefits from biosimilars as they do from the reference biologic drug. Like all drugs, they must meet rigorous standards before being approved for use. Health Canada regulates the manufacturing of biosimilars to ensure that their quality, safety, and efficacy are highly similar to their reference biologic drugs. Health Canada says switching from a biologic to a biosimilar is acceptable and recommends that the decision to switch be made by the physician or prescriber and patient based on clinical evidence and any policies of the province in which you live. And there's evidence to back this all up, of course? Of course! More than 100 research studies exist on patients with inflammatory arthritis, gastrointestinal and skin diseases who have successfully transitioned from a reference biologic drug to its biosimilar, and they show no health differences for patients. Biosimilar products first entered the Canadian market in 2009. Health Canada's already approved 30 biosimilars, and there are over 15 other biosimilars currently under review. There were two pivotal trials for IBD, the Norswich study in Norway, and later the much larger study 3.4. In both, the patients were randomized to receive the biologic or the biosimilar. After several months of following those patients, it was concluded that there was no clinical difference between the two for effectively maintaining remission. Nor was there a difference in safety and immunogenicity. Immunogenicity? the body's ability to develop an immunity to a biologic medication, typically meaning the medication will no longer be effective. All right. Biosimilars are as safe and effective as their biologic counterparts. So why does my health plan require me to switch to a biosimilar? Well, it's all about these. Loonies. Saving them, yes. Some provinces in Canada have made transitioning from biologics to biosimilars part of their health care policy. Like the generic drug industry, there's a significant cost difference when buying biosimilar drugs because they don't require the same investment in research and manufacturing as the reference biologics did. These savings can ease some of the strain on our healthcare system and can be reinvested to improve patient care. This is already being done in British Columbia, where reinvested savings are being used for the reimbursement of new, innovative drugs, providing additional nursing support for all IBD patients, and for the coverage of certain diagnostic tests for IBD patients. As always, there may be medical reasons why some patients can't switch to a biosimilar. GIs like me will help determine if it's medically necessary to remain on a reference biologic drug. And this shouldn't affect how I usually get my prescription filled? It shouldn't. The patient support program for biosimilars will be available to help you with any concerns or receiving reimbursements and will hopefully be equally as compassionate as the program you're on now. Well, I seem to have come to the end of my list of questions. Wow. And what do I win? You get to eat the rest of your lunch. <laughs> but what if I think of more? Well, I'm with you every step of the way as you switch to this biosimilar. 
and that means answering any questions you have. And as we doctors learn more about biosimilars, you'll know more. Great! If you want another resource, the Canadian Digestive Health Foundation has a lot of credible information on their website. It's all revised and approved by medical professionals. They're the official foundation of the Canadian Association of Gastroenterology and your trusted source for all things related to your digestive health.